So I finally have access to the channel performance report in Google ads. And in this week's video, I'm going to give you a quick demo of what it looks like. And then I'm going to give you three action items, things that you can actually do with the information that you're seeing in this report. The complaints about Google Performance Max have always been that it's a black box. With the little information that Google has provided with Performance Max, there wasn't really anything that you could actually do with that data. And so while I wish it was more, kudos to Google for giving us a bit more information from Performance Max. Without further ado, let's look at the channel performance report. So for starters, where can you find the channel performance report to see if it's popped up in your account? So on the left-hand side of the Google Ads dashboard, underneath Insights and Reports, and this is when you are inside of a Performance Max campaign, underneath Insights and Report, you'll see this channel performance report that it says it is in beta. And this is what the top of the screen looks like. So it gives you a performance summary here at the top, and then this is the meat and potatoes of it. And so it shows you the different channels that Performance Max is able to show on. So that includes Google Discover, Display, Gmail, Maps, Search, and Shopping, and it shows you how many impressions and interactions each of those channels received that then leads to conversions. Now, why is this important? Well, there might be a single channel that is dominating in terms of impressions, interactions, and conversions. And if a single channel is dominating, the question is, do you really need to run Performance Max that's advertising on these other channels? So let's say, for example, your Google Discover channel was bloated, meaning it is showing a lot on Google Discover, but the number of interactions that lead to conversions is really low. The question is, do you need those impressions that you're getting on Google Discover? In a lot of instances, unless you're working on top of funnel brand awareness marketing, the answer is no. And so I'm not too worried about it in this account because you can see that the Discover traffic is relatively low, but if it's disproportionately high in your account, that's something that you need to look out for. In a lot of the accounts that I look in right now that have this channel performance report, they do look similar to this. And here's the reason why. Search and shopping for a lot of businesses is going to drive the most conversions. And if you have a target return on ad spend or a target CPA set, that isn't too relaxed, meaning it's a bit strict. Google is going to be forced to use those channels that drive the most conversions, which is search and shopping. I would say that if you don't have a target return on ad spend or a target CPA set, maybe you're in the first few weeks of running a campaign and you don't want to have a target CPA or target ROAS set, you might see some results where Discover, Display, Gmail, Maps are showing a higher number of impressions than if you would actually input one of those performance targets. Okay, so that's what the top of the screen looks like. Let's go down to the bottom of the screen where you actually get a bit more information. And actually the results here are better than at the top. I've found that on the top of the screen, the height and width of the channel reporting is not proportional to the stats that you see at the bottom of the screen. But in other words, like if Google Discover was only 1% of the impressions, at the top of the screen, the visualization is definitely more than 1% when you look at the height and width of that little Discover block. And so if you're looking for more accurate and detailed information, you'll find that here at the bottom of the screen. And so you can use this information, the cost, the conversion value, the conversions, to see how these different channels are performing for you. Okay, so you might be saying, Scott, that's wonderful, it's great, I love getting a little bit more of this information because Performance Max did seem like a black box before and this is helping me out, but what can I actually do with this data? So I'm gonna give you three action items, things that you can actually do once you digest the data in this report. So the first thing is to lean more into the assets for whichever channel does the best. So let's say, for example, that YouTube is absolutely crushing it for you in Performance Max. But let's say that when you were setting up your Performance Max campaign, you used a video from four years ago that's outdated, that doesn't really do a good job of storytelling or helping your potential customers know who you are and what you sell. Well, if YouTube is doing really well with an outdated advertisement, think of how much better it could do if you actually invested in a strong video asset. Same goes for the display network, or even the search network. Maybe you need to lock in on your headlines and descriptions and make them better. You can use the information in that report to find out what channels are the best and then do a better job with your assets in those channels. 
Okay, so the next thing that you can do, let's say you see an imbalance where some of those upper funnel channels like display or discover are receiving too many impressions. Well, that might be a sign for you that you need to make your performance target stricter. Or if you don't have a performance target set, maybe that's a note for you to input a target return on ad spend in a target CPA. That would give Google a nudge to lean into those channels that can drive better results. And in most instances, that's going to be the search and shopping network. Okay, and the last action item for something that you can do once you take a look at this information, let's say you've improved your assets, let's say you've set a target ROAS or a target CPA, and performance max still isn't driving the results that you want, Google seems to be wasting money on the display network or the discover network without driving conversions for you, that could be a signal to just stop using Performance Max. I mean, if you've had success with a search campaign in the past and you wanted to try out Performance Max and the Performance Max results aren't as strong as your search campaign, I don't think that you just need to continually test Performance Max to test Performance Max. At some point in time, you need to draw a line in the sand and say, hey, I'm going to lean into those campaign types that drive results for me. And before I sign off for the day, let me know in the comments below if you're seeing the channel performance report in your account. Google is gradually rolling it out, and I'm curious with my audience how many of you are actually seeing it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time.